Hey again, everybody. Uh, so we have another logic board repair today that I, uh, I thought I would do a video on and share with you. Um, it's a pretty simple repair, but if you don't do it correctly, uh, it could be disastrous. It could damage the board completely, uh, damaging the CPU. Uh, what it is is the display connector on one of the 12-inch MacBook uh, series. I believe this is the 2017 model. Um, as you can see here, the connector has been completely torn off, um, and the re remaining of it is right here. It was sent in, the customer sent it in with it. However, we're not going to need it. Uh, what we're going to do is I have a donor board. Uh, this is a, a scrap board that has a bad CPU, so I've been pulling parts from it to use for repairing uh, other boards. Um, as you can see, I have a good uh, display connector here. It has the uh, flap lock on it and everything and it seems to be in good condition so what I'm going to do is remove this I'm going to show you how to remove this correctly without damaging it and then uh, how to remove this part um, the remaining piece of this damaged part and get the uh, replacement part on here without you know causing further damage to the board uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that what I'm going to do first is remove this from uh, the uh, the board that we're repairing um, and get this uh, the, all the pads cleaned up and uh, I'm going to show you under the microscope here the, the mounting pads or the, the ground pads on the side of the connector have been torn off. So I'm going to show you how we can use some conformal coating uh, to hold this part in place uh, to give it some strength and st stability. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the microscope and show you that. Let's see if we're in focus. Yeah, we're in focus. Okay. So you can see here on each side. Uh, there's supposed to be pads here. Now it looks like we have a little piece of it left. And on this side we're supposed to have a pad there as well. And we have nothing. Uh, so really all that we're going to have to be able to give it some strength and stability is the, the pads that are on here. Uh, the ground pads and these data pads. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, just add some a little dab of conformal coating on each side of the new connector. Uh, and let that harden to give it some strength. You know, so when you're replacing the, the you're reseeking the display connect cable, uh, you're not going to have any damage uh, caused to it. All right. So first off, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and remove this, and uh, we're going to add some heat with the hot air but I'm going to cover up the connectors here on the sides with some anti-static tape, some uh, some captain tape. Now let me get that out. Oh, I've got it right here. I'm just going to cut some pieces off of this and cover up uh, those connectors. Just like that. You don't have to do multiple layers, just one layer is fine because uh, we're not going to apply a lot of direct heat to this area. Just enough to melt the solder to remove this, this connector. Alright. Now we're going to apply some heat. I'm going to lower the temperature. I've been having it at the max, but no need to have it at the max for this. And the reason you need to be careful is because on the opposite side of the board is the CPU. Uh, so if you apply too much heat, you're going to damage that CPU. So we're just going to apply enough here, just enough to be able to um, remove this connector. I'm going to hold it a ways away from the board. And it will melt this plastic, which is fine. We're, we don't care about this plastic. Uh, we're removing this. It's damaged anyways. I'm 
we're not applying pressure to this, just enough to uh, lift up this from the board. Because if you apply a lot of pressure, when it, the solder may, may not be melted, and you may rip a pad, and we don't want to do that. That is the last thing we want to do. Okay. And now we're going to apply some flux. apply some fresh leaded solder to this. So now, I'm going to remove the good connector from the donor board. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, without damaging the connector. And like I mentioned, the CPU is on this side, as you can see. The connector is over here, CPU is over here. Uh, this is a donor board, so I don't care if we overheat the CPU. We're not using it anyways. It's got a bad CPU on it. So what I'm going to do is hang this off the edge of my desk. Let me see if I can get a better view for you here. All right. Good. Hang, hang this off the edge of my desk. Let me get something to hold the board in place. And I'm going to heat it from the bottom side so much that it's going to melt the solder to the top and I'm going to be able to lift the connector right off the board. Make sure I got a good view here. Okay, so for this I'm going to raise the tip all the way up. And I'm just going to ride this hot gun, the, the heat, right there on the connector. came right off just like that so we got a good connector now that we can use okay. so now what we're going to do is going to get the uh, customer's board do back over the microscope view I don't know if you're going to be able to see through this view much, but anyways. So now we're going to set this in place. And what we're going to do is we're going to like kind of tack on this connector on these pads that we can see. We can see we can see these, um, these fingers of the connector right here. We're going to tack these in place a few of them every now and then, and then we're going to go to this side and tack this side in place. Not sure I'm 
them all lined up, make sure all the pads are lined up good before you tack this because once it's tacked it's going to be harder to move. So we just slide down just a tad. Try this again. It's best to take your time with this and get it right because if you rush and get it wrong, it's not going to work. Alright. We're just going to go along and tack all these in place. Just like so. Gonna add a little bit more flux. You don't have to worry about making a mess with the flux because we're gonna clean it off after we're done. I'm gonna put a little bit more solder on the end of my iron here. Tack these down a little bit more. Okay, now let's flip it over and do the other side. And do this side, we're going to have to open up the connector so that we can see. Alright, as you can see, you have to lift it up to be able to see underneath here. Because uh, the, uh, the, the pads, or the pins, are underneath the connector. So this is where um, having a micro pencil to solder this will come in handy, but first, before I get the micro pencil, I'm going to solder down these ground pads. You see these bigger pads right here. Um, this is harder to do with a micro solder pencil because it doesn't transfer the heat as much. Uh, so a bigger soldering tip is going to be easier to get that hot so that melts. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to start in the middle. You see it dropped down. So those two are soldered in place, and we're just going to work our way down to all these ground pads. This side. If I'm out of view, I'm sorry. Let me get that straight. Okay, I'm in view now. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to the micro solder pencil. see how much finer this tip is. So 
you see how small this tip is underneath the mic with the microscope. Okay. So now I'm going to get the tweezers again and push on the top as I'm soldering these data pads, data pins. Tilt it up every now and then, make sure I'm getting them. And it looks like a few of them I'm not. I think we're looking pretty good. All right. So what I'm going to do is clean this off really quick so we can see and we'll clean off the flux and then that way we can see all the pads and make sure that we have a good uh, connection there and then we can test it out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we got it cleaned off. Let's go back over to the microscope view and we can take a look at the pins and make sure that we're all good. It looks like we have a connection on all the all the pins on this side. Looks like we're all good. Why? I, as you remember, there's there on the there's no uh, mounting pads on this, so we're going to apply just a small uh, bit of conformal coating uh, to each side of the connector here, and uh, get that hardened so that we can make sure that we have a good solid connection. Uh, and that th this this isn't just going to be torn from the board. So I'm going to go ahead and get the conformal coating out, uh, move you over to the microscope view so that you can see that, and uh, we'll get that taken care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this like dental tool here. Uh, as you can see, it ha just has a small fine point, and I'm going to take some conformal coating and just apply it to the area. It doesn't, it's not gonna require much, just enough. I'm gonna heat up the conformal coating. It's kinda cold here, so if I heat it up a little bit, it's easier to work with. Apply a small bit along the side of the connector here. Just like that. I'm going to remove the excess. We don't need a whole lot there. I think we'll be fine with that. And what I'm going to do, we heat this up. So when we heat it up, it kind of melts into place and goes into all the nooks and crannies. 
so that makes a good solid connection. All right, let's do the other side now. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to apply some heat to this from a good distance away because I don't want to melt anything. Just want to harden this conformal coating. it hardening. I'll remove this little bit that's in between. Here. We don't need that in there. We want to be able to close. Okay. Should be good. Keep on heating this up. side too. It's nice and hard even now we have some stability on the sides here where it usually holds uh, with the, the pad that's no longer there. We now have something to, that, that we can stick to. Just want to make sure that this flows correctly. Work its way in there. Okay, it does. And a nice solid connection. We should be good. That looks good. Yep. Alright, so we're good on this. Um, and now we can uh, move on to the next repair. But the, this is just to cover what we did here. This, uh, we didn't apply um, too much heat to this area because, as I mentioned, the CPU is on this side, on the opposite side of the board. And we, if we apply too much heat, we're going to ruin that CPU. And keep it from functioning. All right, well, let's go back to our camera view and uh, we can test it out here. I got a test display. Now, let's get this all plugged in here to our tests. And 
Let's see what we get. As you can see, uh, this screen is broken, uh, but we are getting a backlight, and uh, this little line in the screen right here is the Apple logo, where the Apple logo appears. Uh, so unfortunately, this is the only uh, display that I have right now, uh, but you can see it loaded into the customer's login information. Um, yeah, it's pretty sad, I know, but um, at least we can tell that the, the display is working and uh, we have no uh, loose connection and the backlight's working. I'm going to get this installed into a better unit just to make sure that it's testing and working better uh, than, than this. Okay, well uh, that's how you uh, complete the repair on replacing the connector on this 12-inch uh, MacBook. Uh, as I mentioned, there's some things you need to be concerned about, be careful about. Uh, applying too much heat to the top of the board here can damage the CPU, which is on the back side of the board. Uh, so you want to be careful with that. Um, when removing it from, if you have a uh, donor board, uh, you can heat it up from the back side to remove the connector because if you're heating it from the top, you're just going to damage the connector. It's going to melt. Uh, so the only way really to remove it safely and uh, keep a good connector is to heat it from the bottom side of the board. Um, hopefully this helped you out uh, if you have this issue and you're trying to repair this. Um, also, if you're doing this type of repair and you're removing the display connector from this board, uh, please be sure and be careful not to lift up on the connector. Um, the cable slides out from the side because if you're lifting up, it's just going to damage the connector and you're going to have to do a repair like this. Uh, so make sure you're very careful with that. So anyways, I hope this video was informative for you. Hope it helps you out with the, any questions. Um, and if you do have questions, please uh, ask away in the comments below. Um, anyways, until next time, uh, have a nice day.